this is Himan Swaj Joshi and today we are going to talk about transposable genetic elements or simply called as jumping genes or a transposable elements or mobile genetic elements or transposomes. Maize is one of the world's most common and important crops. There are different varieties which are different kernels, colored kernels like red, blue, yellow, white, purple, etc. The colorful patterns that we see on maize ears are an important scientific significance. The modern research has shown that the stripes and spots on the maize kernels are the result of a genetic phenomenon called as transposition. The, they have found that the DNA sequence are not stationary or a gene is not a stationary but it can move from one place to another place or one position to another position on the same chromosome or a different chromosome. In maize, these account up to 85% of all the DNA. They can be classified into three categories based upon the mechanism of transposition. The first one is cut and paste transposition second replicative transposition third retro transposition in the first category transposition is accompanied by exercising or cutting an element or a dna sequence from its position in a chromosome and inserting it into another position on a new site by an enzyme called as transposes this mechanism is called as cut and paste transposition it is easy we cut an gene from its original position and paste it in a different position on the same or different chromosome in the second category the transposition is accompanied or accomplished through a process that involves replication of the transposable element the transposes mediates the interaction between the element which is to be transposed and the potential insertion site. During this interaction, the element is replicated and one copy of its insert is inserted at the new location while the original copy stays at its original site. This is referred as replicative transposition. In the third category, the transposition is accompanied through the process that involves insertion of copies of an element that were synthesized from RNA. An enzyme called as reverse transcriptase uses this RNA as template to produce or synthesize the new DNA molecule which is inserted into the new location. These are called as retrotransposons and the mechanism is called as retrotransposition. Various examples are there. The cut and pressed transposons, the examples are IS elements, ACDS elements, while replicative transposons, TN3 elements. In retrotransposons, there is TY1, Copia, GYPSY, GYPC. FGI elements, lins and signs. Moving to transposable elements in bacteria, the insertion sequences. These are nothing but cut and paste transposons. They can get inserted at many different sizes in bacterial chromosomes and plasmids, hence they are more common. The IS elements were first detected in the lag negative mutations of E. coli. These mutations had the unusual property of reverting back to the wild type at a very high rate. These unstable mutations possess the extra DNA in or near the lag genes. When 
the DNA from the wild type revertance of these mutations were compared with that from the mutations themselves, it was found that the extra DNA had been lost, means it has been jumped. They consist of fewer than 2500 nucleotide pairs and contain only genes whose products are involved in either promoting or regulating transposition. The next example is TN3 element. The genetic organization of TN3 elements consists of three structural genes, namely TNPA, TNPR and BLA. An enzyme transposes a repressor and an enzyme called as beta-lactamase. The beta-lactamase confers resistance to the antibiotic amphicillin and the other play important role in transposition. At the first stage, the transposes mediates the fusion of two circular molecules. For example, we can take at two different plasmids, one which carries the TN3 element and one is devoid of it or which doesn't have it. The resulting structure after the integration is called as co-integrate. During the formation of this co-integrate, the TN3 element is replicated and one copy is inserted into the plasmid where into the new plasmid. In the second stage of transposition, the co-integrate is resolved into its two constituent plasmids. Each will now bear a copy of TN3 elements. The original copy will be present in the original plasmid while the newly synthesized is inserted into the plasmid which, which was devoid of it earlier. Transposons in eukaryotes, example ACDS elements in maize. The AC and DS elements in maize were discovered by an American scientist Barbara McClintock. She discovered AC and DS elements by studying the chromosome breakage. She used genetic markers that controlled the color of maize kernels to detect the breakage events. When a particular marker was lost, McClintock inferred or concluded that the chromosome segment on which the marker was located had also been lost, an indication that a breakage event has been occurred. The loss of a marker was detected by a change in color of the aileron. What is aileron? It is the outermost layer of the triploid endosperm of the maize kernels. McClintock found that the breakage responsible for the mosaic kernels has been occurred at a particular site on chromosome number 9. She named the factor that produced these breaks as DS which indicates dissociation or dissociator. However, by itself this factor was unable to induce any chromosome package. McClintock found that the DS had to be stimulated by another factor which is called as AC or activator. The AC factor was present in some maize stalks but absent in other. When such stalks were crossed, the AC could be combined with DS which led to the chromosome breakage. Retrovirus-like elements. Retrovirus-like elements are found in many different eukaryotes including yeast, plants and animals. Despite the differences in size and the nucleotide sequence, they all have the same basic structure that is a long coding region flanked by long terminal lipids or LTRs which are oriented in the same direction that is from 3' to 5' or 5' to 3'. The retrovirus like elements have also been found in Drosophila. One of the first that was identified is called as Copia. 
it is so named because it produces copious amounts of RNA. Gypsy or GYP SY element, another drosophilian retrotransposon is larger than copy element because it contains the gene similar to the TNV gene of retroviruses. Another subtype is retrotransponse. The retrotransponse or non LTR retrotransposons are very large. Widely distributed class of retrotransposons includes FGI element of Drosophila and several types of elements in mammals, which include salines and sins in humans. These elements move through RNA molecule. That is the reverse transcription, which includes enzyme reverse transcriptase. Thank you. This is about the transposable elements or jumping genes. This is, these are the references used. I personally recommend Cell and Molecular Biology by P.K. Gupta and B.D. Singh, uh, Genetics by B.D. Singh, because the basic knowledge can be obtained through these books in very simple terms. If you need in detail, please refer principles of genetics by Snowstead. Thank you.